What's up everyone, Patrick here, and today I'm gonna show you how to build a professional landing page for your website. Now, if you don't know what a landing page is, it's simply the first page on your website that people will visit when they arrive. So if you've linked your website in a marketing ad or somewhere else out on the internet, it should be the first location that new visitors arrive at. And so it is incredibly important to have your landing page really capture the essence of your website. It really establishes the theme for the entire website page and will help generate that interest for new visitors. Adding a call to action button can really increase the retention of visitors on your web page because it gives them incentive. It gives them a direction to head in to head deeper into your website. And the tool I'll be using today to create this landing page is called Wix.com. And if you're unfamiliar with Wix, it's an online website building platform that provides you hundreds of templates to choose from and an intuitive drag and drop editor to efficiently and creatively design the exact website you're looking to make. Now I'll drop an affiliate link down in the description directly to Wix.com if you wanna go ahead and follow along with the video today. And if you're unfamiliar with it at all and don't even have a Wix website, I have another video that I've created and I'll drop a link down in the description about how to create a professional website using Wix from scratch. I would highly recommend watching that one first before jumping into this one. Now, without further ado, let's get started creating a professional landing page for our website. Okay, so first things first, you'll head over to the Wix.com homepage. I'm already here, as you can see. And if you don't already have a Wix account, you'll go ahead and hit Get Started, or you can hit the Sign In button to go ahead and create an account. Now, as I mentioned before, I did have another video about how to create a Wix account and your first website. I'd recommend checking that one out quick if you're not already familiar. Since I already have an account, I'll just hit Sign In. And from the Sign In page, I'll go ahead and hit Login since I don't need to sign up and enter my email address and password and hit Login. Awesome, and we're now at your Wix dashboard. So this is what mine looks like. You can see my first site over here. I can go ahead and hit edit site if I wanted to, but instead what I'll do is I'll click on my sites at the top left corner. That's right next to the Wix logo. And from here you can see the entire list of all of the websites associated with my Wix account. Now, as you can see, it's just the one right now, but I'm not gonna edit that one today. I'll show you how to create a landing page from scratch. So let's head over to this button in the top right and hit create a new site. Now this navigates us to a new page where it asks you what kind of website you wanna create. We're gonna go ahead and hit other. And we're going to use the template. We're not gonna use Wix ADI. We're gonna make sure we choose a template. So go ahead and click that. And then now we've got all of our templates. So like I said, we're gonna be doing a landing page. Now we could choose the one right off of the get go right here. This is a coming soon landing page or Wix provides hundreds of different templates. There's definitely more than one to choose from for landing pages. So we'll search landing page in the top left and hit enter. And now we've got a full list of all of the landing page templates. We've got six pages to go through. So let's go ahead and find one that's already kind of got what we're looking for. Something uh, pretty straightforward, subtle, but something that can be adaptable to whatever our theming is. And honestly, I'm a big fan of this one right here. Let's go ahead and click view to check it out. This will open it up in a new tab. And we can always hit the X button to close that. And at the top left, if you want to check out what the page looks like in mobile format, you can go ahead and hit the phone icon. That'll show you what it would look like on mobile and then back to desktop. Now this is super minimal. I'm a big fan of this. It's not too flashy, but for this, I'm not gonna use this one. So let's go ahead and go back to our selection of templates and let's check out another one. And so I am looking for something that has a good background image, but I don't want a video in the background. I want a solid background image. And so we've got the business coming soon, photography coming soon. Now I don't want it to be a coming soon page, although a lot of landing pages are used for that when a site's under construction, but a lot of sites also have a landing page just to arrive at. That's where you're first landing at the website itself is the landing page. It's what makes that first impression on your visitors. So we want something that really catches somebody's attention. You know, I am a big fan of this one right here. A nice solid image in the background, your logo right in the middle, a call now button, that's great. And then a 
email subscription box. This is fantastic. And then it goes into the services and clients and everything else. This is the kind of landing page I'm looking for for my needs. Now, of course, it can vary depending on what kind of website you have. If you have a portfolio site, then you definitely want to show off some of your work right from the get-go and then direct everybody towards your portfolio. Or if it's a small business or a drop shipping company, you might want to have your featured product of the month, day, or week on your landing page so that when people come, they'll see that and then have a call to action button or some button that directs them to the store to actually check out the rest of your products. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit this site because this is the template I wanna use. Awesome, so now that the template's loaded up in the Wix editor, we can go ahead and start making it our own. So if you're not already familiar with the Wix editor, this is it. You can go ahead and hover over any element on the page and it will tell you exactly what it is. This one obviously is a text box, then you've got down here a Wix form, and you can keep going and seeing some of the other content. Now you can grab anything you want, it's as simple as clicking and dragging it around to the location that you want. You've got the little lines that line up to show you exactly where your formatting is as far as where that specific element is in relation to everything else on your page. And at the top of every item, whenever you click on it, it will give you a set of buttons. Now these are the different ways you can interact with that specific element. So for example, the Wix form, I could change the form settings, add a new field, add a new element completely to it if I wanted to. So we wanna make this landing page our own. So I'm gonna go ahead and change everything out. Let's change this from Barnes Consultants to, landing page consultant. Call this landing page consultants and we'll call your landing page begins with us. See, nothing crazy. When it comes to text elements, it's just a matter of double clicking and you're in, or you can click on it and hit the edit text button. Now that applies to pretty much any element you see, like I just said, you can click on the Wix form and go ahead and hit form settings. Now, an important part of a landing page is not only your call to action text and form, so you've got the text that just grabs the attention, it's large in your face, just like this. Your landing page begins with us. And the very first thing you see after that is the form to ready to start your growth journey. So we'll actually change this from growth journey to landing page journey. Awesome. And then clicking on it will open up this extra window. Now this window allows you to change the settings of your Wix form. You can go in and change the complete name of it, set email notifications, accept payments. You can do so many different things with a Wix form. For this instance, because it's a landing page, this is my email newsletter. Using this Wix form, I can generate an email list and then take that email list and plug it into MailChimp for an easy, seamless transition. Now, another important factor of your landing page, if not one of the most important things, is the hero image. Now, a lot of people will use hero images or videos, like in that other template I showed you. The hero image or video or just the hero itself is this giant image right here. It's what captures the attention of the viewer when they first arrive. So you want it to make an impact. All I have to do is click on that, and then you see up here at the top, I can click change strip background. We're actually gonna swap out this background image. So we can scroll through selected backgrounds in here, or we can go ahead and click on settings, and this will open it up in a new window, giving us a full selection of media for our site. And so we'll go ahead and pick new media from Wix. Let's scroll through here and find something that's pretty eye-catching. Honestly, what this is an interesting uh, image. Let's go ahead and set it to this one. This immediately caught my eye, so I would assume it would catch the eye of uh, visitors to the site. Now this is Definitely an interesting one. And you can grab it and drag it up and down, left and right if you'd like, to recenter it accordingly. Perfect. Okay, now that we've selected a background, we can go ahead and close the strip background box and scroll down. And we'll go past our subscription box and you can see down here the Our Services section. Now this is a series of columns all within a single strip. And in order to edit this, you can click on the entire strip and you can hover over each column and at the top it'll tell you exactly which column it is and then you can hit the manage columns button to swap the positioning by clicking the arrows down here after highlighting a specific column and that will move them around in their order or if you wanted to just get rid of them 
So for example, I feel like our landing page should just have two columns. I'll click on this third one and hit the delete button down at the bottom. And now we've gone to two. And we can change the background to any one of these by simply clicking on the specific column and hitting change column background. And then from here, we can select whichever image we would prefer, something that still allows us to be able to read what is on there. So maybe this orange one, that's a good one. And we'll leave this first one. And don't forget to obviously change the text to all of these. We'll call it landing strategies. Always be sure that you're uh, changing all of the text to everything on the site. Otherwise, you're going to have just template text. This filler text that, that's meant to just fill in space will actually slip into your production website, and that's not what you want. It's very unprofessional. So let's scroll down to the next section, which is actually the testimonials. This is where we can have clients that we previously worked with giving a testimonial of what it's like working with us, of what they enjoyed working with us, uh, why and what kind of service we provided to them that really helped us stand out to them. And so for this, it's just another strip with columns. And of course, we can change the columns. So in this instance, let's say I want to manage all of my columns and duplicate the third column. So we'll add a fourth and then a fifth and a sixth and on and on. And this way you can just keep scaling it up as you have more people. So you could say Jane Doe. And so on and so forth. And you would just go through and take your testimonials and plug it in here. Now, that's not to say you can't just get rid of this entire section. If you'd rather, you can highlight the entire strip and then hit this delete button over here or hit the delete key on your keyboard and it's gone. Now you'll notice that the formatting for the website's still here. So you still have this block and a plain colored background for that section, but the actual filler to it is gone. And so we can control Z to bring that back. And if we scroll down to the very bottom, we've got another one of those subscription boxes right here, something to uh, allow people to sign up for that email newsletter. So we'll change this as well. So instead of success is not final, we'll say, we'll say landing is not final. We'll just, we'll just say landing is not final. That's it. That, that'll be our quote. And then Winston Churchill, We'll change it, simply double click. And there we go. And so we wanna make sure that this form matches the one up top. And so scrolling up here, we can see that this one is ready to start your landing page journey. And so we'll just simply change it to that. And there we go, we've rebranded all of these contents. Now, of course, just like I showed you in each section, you can change the background. That's a super important thing when it comes to sections on your website because you wanna really define those using fitting imagery to that specific topic. So something like this, I would probably want a another reference or maybe a collage of images to whatever my newsletter is about, whatever my specific website is about. And then scrolling down to the very bottom, we've got that logo again, which if you remember at the top, we changed that to landing page consultants, just like any other branding you see on the website. Always make sure to change that. And click off when you're done. And then we've got the three main bottom footer bars. So we've got the follow us, the contact and address. So these are just ways to reach out and get in contact with us or check us out. Now, this is where you would go in and customize your address if you have a physical location, or if you don't, you can just get rid of the column altogether. Now, remember, this section is also just a series of columns. You can see there's four columns, so I'm actually going to take out the address since it is entirely digital. Whatever my site is for is for a digital service, so I'll hit Manage Columns and to make sure that I have the second column selected and then just hit Delete. And now we've got the three main columns that actually matter my phone number and email, as well as the follow us and links to our various social media sites. And then just make sure that you've changed all of the branding. This goes for any Wix template that you use or any template you use on any site ever. Never just let it sit as the normal template. Go in and make it your own. Customize it, give it life and make it creative because that's what's gonna set your site apart.
Now, speaking of setting it apart, you can tell that my text actually blends in with this background a little too much. It blurs. It doesn't really stand out. So something I might want to do is highlight all of that and then click on color down here. And this will bring up color swabs that I can then hover over to see a preview of what the text would look like in that color. Now, this is a super useful tool, especially in instances just like this one. So I'll go ahead and hit black and then click off of it and it's now saved my changes. And of course, don't neglect some of these buttons on the other side, you've got your theme manager. Now this applies site-wide, not just your landing page. And if you wanna add more elements, you've got these buttons on the left. Now everything in this nav bar allows you to add or adjust content on your page where everything on this right toolbar allows you to adjust the formatting of it. Now, as you can see, it's a really quick thing to jump in and start editing the landing page to make it your own, but you can be as nitpicky as you like here. This, this is the creative process. You're allowed to go in and be iterative with it, meaning you can go in, make some changes, step away for a day or two, come back and say, maybe I don't like how this looks and go ahead and make those changes there. And remember the goal of the landing page is to grab the attention of the visitor. Now there could be very specific reasons for your landing page, like for instance, mine is to get people to sign up for a newsletter. Other people might have a video or might have a shop or any number of reasons. Either way, the landing page is the first stop people will make on your website and thus it ranks perhaps as one of the most important portions of your website. Keep in mind, I didn't put very much effort into actually customizing it and really setting it apart and making it my own. Now, what I might go do is change the background strip completely to something a little more professional and change the text to fit more in line with my branding as well as connecting the email newsletter. There's so many different things I could go in and do a detailed description of but this is just so you understand the generalities of creating a professional landing page using Wix. And just like that, we've created a professional landing page for our website, none of which would be possible without Wix.com and the platform they provided us. Again, I've included an affiliate link down in the description for you to head over to Wix.com and create a professional website of your very own. Now you can take what you've learned today and create an awesome landing page to help your website stand out from all the other ones out there and drive that visitor retention to your website. So if you are in the market for a brand new website for either your personal blog, a hobby of yours, or your own small business, then definitely use Wix.com. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for other helpful videos like this one and hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, thanks for watching.